Let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at that beautiful red. Look at that. Look at this guy. What a beauty. What's up everybody? Charles Cleburne, Dirty Bay Fishing, Charles Cleburne Fishing. Man, I'm out here in my wade spots in Trinity Bay. I, um, it's Tuesday, I'm all alone. Man, there wasn't nothing but crab boats at the boat ramp. I thought the wind was gonna be a little less windy, but it's, it's a little uh, up, blowing from the southwest. So if you see here, we got a little bit of a chop right there, but that is perfect what we want we always want a little chop a little current running over these reefs because that pushes bait in there that that pushes the other fish in there to uh to get them so we're um i got my live well i'll probably throw some shrimp with my popping cork but <clears throat> my lures i kind of jumped the gun today i thought it, in the morning it was going to be less windy and it'd probably be flat over here so i wanted to start my day off with my joey's custom bait top water i got right here but man uh it looks like i might have to pull it out of the pack but if you see what i got i just got some uh some rattle traps man i got me a square bill and uh and my soft dines so i'm gonna start off with the soft dines once i move to hard officials because they are killer out here good stuff bro all right guys i'm gonna uh I'm gonna get this ready. Um, don't forget to uh, do all the social media. If you're into all that stuff, check me out. Um, I mean, if you can't read my little icons beeping right here, it's Charles Cleburne fishing. All my stuff is, guys. So, and um, I'd go live and do weekly fishing reports on my Facebook page, Galveston Bay Kayak Cartel. So check that out uh, if you want fishing reports on uh, what baits is catching, what lures is catching, and what areas is hot, guys. All right, hope to see all you guys on the water. Tight lines and God bless. see stuff like this guys when you're wading this is stuff you want to look for this is stuff you want to feel on your feet this stuff is going to uh, attract bait fish which is going to attract predator fish oh got him Oh, I knew there was a redfish there. All that current running, see the current running on this shoreline and going around there, perfect spot. I knew there was gonna be a redfish or a flounder. This is a good red. This is a good, good red. Oh, yes, sir. Nice. I didn't catch no reds last time I was out here. to me if I can see what you are. That's a big old red, guys. Come on over here, perfect slot. Somebody needs some red fish for their dinner plate. This guy here has got some uh, fight in him, man. He's a, man, How it is a joy. It is a different feeling, guys, to pull one of these nice reds in, standing in the water right next to him. You know what I mean? Look at that. How you like that, guys? How you like that? Look. Look at me. My boat's over there. Fish were over there. I'm right here in this water. Enjoying this enjoying this stuff. Beautiful redfish. I'm gonna throw them on the stringer so he don't get away. And then I'm gonna measure him and see what size red i got all right guys we got one on the stringer this guy is all right he is a slot he's about 26 27. that's a tournament red right there come on come on no nope, no nope, we're going this way 
Oh. Oh. He took my hook, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice slot, boy. Well, we pulling in some good slots today. Good slots today. Come on. Good slot. That goes. That guy's a lower slot. Oh. All right, guys. I'm gonna hold you. Hello. Oh! Hoo -hoo -hoo. So it is the heart of the head. All right. All I'm catching is hard heads with the shrimp. Yeah, there's my boat way, way over there. Oop, that's a redfish, yep. Got it. I saw bait jumping out there and a little slicks popping up and I threw in it. And it's a redfish. Still that drag peeling, making sure I'm recording. And I am. All right. I didn't think it was a, ooh, see that boy? Hear that drag? I didn't think it was a redfish because it really wasn't fighting at first. I thought I, I thought I had some trash fish. See that slick that popped up from that boil and now it's gone? That's what you're looking for, guys, when you're looking for, that's the slick. It just pops up right like that because the fish is there and then it disappears. Then big giant slicks you see, very rarely are they I mean, I've been, I've been in them giant slicks where it's been a whole school of redfish, but that's rare. You gotta find little slicks like that that are popping up and disappearing. Fish sticks, fish sticks, catching these guys on fish sticks. Mount, 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 mount. I got me some sticks. Hear that? You see me, you see my thumb on there? You see me putting pressure on it and working that? Look, he, I can pull that out, but I can stop it with my thumb. You're gonna have to build up calluses because if you got them little sissy hands, uh, you're gonna pull the, pull the skin off your thumb. All right, I'm kind of taking it slow on this one because uh, I already lost the last one and I don't want to lose another one. See this jellyfish right here? This is why I wear pants, guys. This is why I wear pants. If you wear shorts, those little tentacles are going to get you. All right, guys. Come on, get back over here, guy. You see, look. Watch my thumb. See? See, now I'm holding. Just holding them with my thumb. Pulling. And I'm reeling in. And then I gotta help see him hold it with my thumb. I'm pulling, seeing I can let go and he can run, but I'm he is right here. Look at him, right here next to me. Look. Oh, you didn't know you were next to me, did you? You snuck up on me. Oh, we ain't losing this one. Come on, guy. I know you want to be. You want to be in my net. All right. This right here is the fourth redfish I've hooked up with. I lost the other one. Broke my hook off right, right when I had him. Right when I was reaching for the net. Oh. But, uh, fellas, once I get this clip on here, we ain't gonna celebrate yet. We're giving, we're giving free piercings today, guys. Free piercings. All right. All right, guys. That's a limit of redfish right there, my friends. I was trying to help you. I literally, I stopped, I stopped recording, but I caught my limit of redfish and I literally said, I'm done catching redfish. It's time to catch trout. Look at this. <laughs> These fish are listening to me today, boy. 
So anyway, the only difference from chasing redfish to chasing trout was I'm working the shoreline, closer to the shoreline chasing the redfish. When I decided to, when I decided to say it's time for me to work trout, I turned this way and I started working the, the, the drop off in the deeper water. And look at that. I mean, wasn't even in the water a second. And I've got I've got a trout on the stringer, guys. Uh, he ain't on the stringer yet, but he's coming. All right, guys, settle down. Trout's over there. Redfish back there. What's up, all my dirty bait anglers? What's up, everybody? All right, I am stuck in this uh, cleaning room because uh, it's windy outside and I don't have a good microphone, so I don't want it to be all. <laughs> so anyway, I tried a lot of places today. The wind picked up and uh, I finally decided to call it a day. I did my wade spots. I ran into redfish, good old school redfish. Uh, I found some speckled trout, then I went over on the other side of Trinity Bay, and one of the pockets I went into, the water was fresh. And then I went right up down the north side to the uh, Cedar Bio, uh, to the spillway, and that water was brackish. Um, there was no bait in there, 
And uh, with the wind picking up, I just didn't feel like uh, sitting there and catching nothing. Uh, checked those places and everything was good. So the ticket today uh, was live shrimp. I, I found some in live shrimp, um, but I always use this one right here, this soft dine. Uh, that's got, that's, that has become one of my favorite colors. Uh, Man, you, you just basically got to throw this and they'll, <laughs> and they'll catch it. And this mantis shrimp, the gold mantis shrimp, you always hear me talking about it. I finally picked some up. This one right here did well. Did well today, um, did well in these conditions. What, what I did in order to find them redfish, I, it, they were close to the bank and I saw the, the swirling and all the, the um, and all the current working through there and i thought man that's a good place for redfish or some flounder and i threw the cork and almost the first almost when it landed it went boom <laughs> and i caught that first one so um all right guys uh if you're into all that social media stuff um i got stuff right here uh go check me out all there charles cleburne fishing and uh, book a trip my number's up here uh send me a text i'll always get back to you and i hope to see all you guys on the water tight lines and god bless